different excretory organs present in human body. Today in this class we will discuss the very important organ of excretion that is kidney. Okay. So as you know there are a pair of kidneys present in a human body. And what is the work of kidney? Kidney has a filtration of blood. Okay. If you will talk about the structure of kidney, kidney is a very bean seed shaped structure. Okay. Like this. Okay. Just like bean seed. Got it? And uh, uh, it is somehow reddish brown in color. If you will talk about its color. And uh, the position of kidney, where it is located? It is located just above the waist and by the two side of spinal cord or by the two side of what? Uh, backbone. Got it? And the right kidney is slightly below or slightly down to the left kidney. Okay? Just uh, not uh, uh, you know a lot of uh, difference but slightly down to the left if you will compare both. Okay? So here also I have written the basic things. Uh, it is bean shaped in color. I uh, mean bean shaped in structure. Reddish brown in color. Present below waist. Or sorry present just above the waist and below or the, by the two side of spinal cord. Okay? And uh, if you talk about the function of kidney. Kidneys are the main you know filtration unit. Or uh, they are having the you know filtration unit which will filter blood okay so before moving to the structure of kidney let me clarify what is filtration of blood and what is purification of blood most of the students they are having confusion in this part only remember lungs helps in purification of blood but kidneys helps in filtration of blood okay if uh, i will give you an example a very short example and quickly Suppose in a glass I have taken mud water. Remember the step of sedimentation? If I will take a glass of mud water and I will allow it to settle, then what will happen? Mud will be settled down and the filtrate or the you know pure water will be at the top. Then in another glass I will use a filter paper and slowly I will pour the upper water to another glass so that now I got a filter water ok but can I say that this water is fit for drinking now this water is filtered but it is not now free of germs got it I have already filtered that water but now it already it, it also have some microorganisms in it which is not fit for drinking so what I will do I will allow that filter water to boil at 100 degrees Celsius or else I can use some you know disinfectants like chlorine, a bleaching powder and all, chlorine tablet and all I can use to make it purified, to make it free of germs. Got it? This is the difference between filtration and purification. Lungs helps in purification of blood but kidneys helps in filtration of blood. Got it? So do not have confusion. Heart helps in circulation of blood. Lungs helps in purification of blood. And kidneys helps in filtration of blood. It will take out all the undissolved waste in the blood. Again, the blood will be purified in lungs. Okay? So there is a difference between purification and filtration. Do not make, have a confusion of purification and filtration. Okay? So today let us start the detailed structure of kidney and along with that we will discuss how kidney helps in the filtration of blood. Means what is the role of kidney in filtration of blood. Okay. So let us start with the structure of kidney. Listen to it very carefully. Just see how I am doing the structure. It is very simple. At last we will do it and level it by your own. Okay. So at first we will do the structure. Then we will talk about its function. Okay. So here as I said there are a pair of kidneys present on both the sides of spinal cord. Okay. It is bean seed shaped structure. Okay. 
it is okay it got two regions the outer region and the inner region the outer region of kidney it somehow light in color and the inner region is somehow dark in color so the outer region we can call as the light region and the inner region we can call as the dark region so outer region is named as cortex It got the outer region called cortex, and the inner region called medulla. Okay, so medulla has somehow like these structures. Okay, this is the inner side of kidney. Okay, it got like this dark color structures. Okay. The light part is the upper part, and the dark one is the what inner part of it. Now you can see the curves present here on the whole side. Here it will form a wide tube. Okay, it will form a wide tube-like structure. Just remember, 
inside the medulla it got number of millions of small small filtration units called as nephrons okay here these are small you know filtration units okay i am not doing the detailed structure of nephron okay you will have it in your higher class okay so here we can write this nephron nephrons are the small filtration units it is the main as we are using the filter paper to filter like this nephrons will filter blood how it will filter we will discuss in the function another two most important structure here i can show you artery and vein two kidneys are also supplied with an artery and a vein we call the that artery as renal artery and that vein as renal vein the artery which is connected to kidney is known as renal artery and the vein which is connected to kidney is known as renal vein okay so here we can do it artery i am doing it with red and vein i will do it with blue okay so that it will be easy for you to identify structures 
Okay, the overall structure here we have completed. Now let us discuss what is the function. How these nephrons will fill, I mean, uh, filter the blood which contains the uh, dissolved waste materials in it. Okay, so I hope you are now clear with the structure. Try to do it and level it by doing. Okay, now let us discuss the function. Okay, just listen it very carefully. At first, the renal artery will carry blood. Supply it to the both side of kidneys. Got it? These renal arteries they will move inside to the medullary part and they will form small branches around the nephrons. Okay? They will form small branches around the nephron. Got it? Both the sides. They will supply the D, I mean the unfiltered blood to the nephrons so that nephron can filter it. So what nephron will do? Nephron will collect the blood which will be supplied by the renal artery and the blood which is supplied by the renal artery it contains some dissolved waste like some excess amount of water urea, some unwanted salt particles which are dissolved in the blood that are needed to be filtered. Now, nephron will do its work. It will filter the excess of water. Mostly, it will filter urea and some of the unwanted salts which are present in the blood. But remember, it will not filter uh, proteins, RPCs and all. Okay? So, here it will filter the un, I mean the unwanted waste particles which are present in the blood. Now that filtrate will be collected. When it will be collected? That will be collected on the renal pelvis. Okay? That filtered blood. After filtration, it forms a straw color liquid. As I said, Nephrons cannot filter, uh, cannot allow the RBC to pass. That's why the color of our urine is not red. What is the color of our urine? Straw color, slightly yellow in color. So, these nephrons, they will filter all the unwanted particles, uh, the, you know, excess amount of water, urea and some, uh, you know, unwanted salts which are present in the blood, that will be filtered and a straw colored liquid is the filtrate. Okay, that filtrate now for a temporary period it will be stored where in the renal pelvis. Okay, now some of the useful particles are also present in blood, like some important salts like sodium, potassium, calcium, and some amount of water. Also, in, uh, the blood also needs some amount of water. So some of the useful particles, some of the useful materials like some water, uh, some important salts like sodium, potassium, calcium, that will be absorbed. Nephron not only filter, it will also help in absorption. So, all the required material for blood will be absorbed and that will be now passed to the renal vein. As renal artery forms the branching, renal vein will also forms the branching. So we can say nephron is surrounded by the capillary network. Okay? The network of veins and artery is known as what? Capillaries already we have discussed. Okay? So these are the what? Capillaries. So these are the capillaries you can see. Okay, let me write capillary network. Okay, so this is the capillaries. So nephron is surrounded with capillaries so that the dissolved substances, the useful substances which are dissolved are now passed on with that are dissolved in blood only. And now that blood will be passed on to the renal vein and renal vein will carry out that and it will send it to the heart. Renal vein will carry the filtered blood and it will send that filtered blood to heart for purification. 
this renal vein it will uh, see renal vein it will carry out the filtrate blood and it will send it to heart okay now what about this straw color liquid which is stored in the renal pelvis that straw color liquid is also only known as urine that will pass down slowly by the help of ureter and it will be stored for a temporary period in urinary bladder that urine will pass along the ureter and it will be stored in the urinary bladder for a temporary period and at a regular interval urinary bladder uh, will throw out or will excrete urine by the help of urethra urethra is the opening of urinary bladder and remember there is a muscles present on the opening of urethra known as pincher muscles Okay. 
head and about the filtration unit how it filters already we have discussed that it will filter blood blood but how it will filter how it will absorb the useful substances see here it will filter okay and the filtrate or the urine will be stored and it will pass on to the renal pelvis like this all the nephron will pass urine to the renal pelvis and all the useful substances present in the blood will be absorbed out to the well to the vein okay the renal vein will collect all the you know useful substances and along with the uh, useful substances and blood it will take out the filtered blood out of the kidney so all about this you will have in your class now i am not going in details about the you know structure of nephrons got it so if this is a homework to all of you that practice the diagram try to level by its own and note down the functions by your own so that you will have a clear idea about this topic okay so this is all about our today's topic in the next class we will move on to some more important topics and do not forget to practice it by your own got it and uh, uh, just keep on revising till then goodbye and